We're here with Jeffrey Straker at the Enza Club in Vancouver, and he has peace in his teeth. Well, actually, he doesn't. His teeth are perfect and beautiful. Nice shot. Yes. Jeffrey, you have been a lot of places already in 2010. Give us an idea of, just a quick rundown of where you've been all year. Quick rundown. Well, most of my touring this year has been in Canada. I think it's going to clock to about 100 shows this year. And it's been everywhere from Vancouver to Toronto. And and the, the one thing about my touring is that it's rarely in a logical linear line. Okay, it's much good. more like Excellent. if you dumped it, if you put a flea on a map and slapped the map as it, as it bounced, that's my touring pattern. Loving it, loving it. Yeah. Okay. But, um, but so we between Vancouver yeah. and Toronto multiple times, basically. Okay, back and forth, back yeah. and forth. And, and then you went over to like overseas to Ireland? Yes. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah cool. Um, that was just about a month or two ago. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's the light show. That's the light show here at the Enza Club. Yeah. That's a strobe. I'm, I'm going to probably start to have my <laughs> Tourette's or something. I don't know what's going on. But well, what, did, what were you doing before that? The, that's my secret. Good lord. Um, um, so Ireland. Um, Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. Ireland. So I went to Ireland, did a couple shows, did, yep. did, did a couple shows, and uh, hit a friend's wedding at the same time. It was a very productive trip. How and, bizarre. Uh, yeah, strange, strange. And, uh, and then coming up after these last shows on the West Coast, heading back towards Toronto by the Prairies, and then to Nashville to start making a new record. Oh, fantastic. Now tell us about the new record, because we must know. Well, the new record is... Uh, it's, I've been writing a ton this year, so yeah. I'm really excited. In fact, a lot of the shows, a lot of the songs I'll be playing tonight at this show are new. So we're Very test, cool. test marketing, okay. if you will. Nice. And, Get uh, the reaction from the people. Yeah, see. yeah. yeah see what, okay. what goes over. Good, good. Spot the lead balloons is, 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 what, I, <laughs> is what, I, what I call this little trick. And uh, so yeah, we'll see. So the record is going to be, um, it's going to be all originals again. There might be the odd, a couple co-writes that end up on it because okay. one of the producers I'm going to be working with would like to co-write. So we'll see how that goes. Very nice. So yeah, I'm excited. Nice. Um, that's it. The more you come in, the thinner I look. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, and Jeffrey, yeah. keep in the picture. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. Yeah, there, yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. We're very, very cozy right now. It's a Straker sandwich. It okay. is. <laughs> I feel like I should straddle your leg. I know, so do I. Oh, please. <laughs> it's weird, but there I'm we go. feeling it. Welcome to Write Out TV. <laughs> okay. So tell us, what's it like to be like be brother and sister to run around? It's uh, it's all right when Jill's not being moody, but uh, <laughs> oh, other than that, I'm kidding. Oh, 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 we live together. We live together in Regina. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we share a place in Regina. That uh, is and I so live sweet. Half the time in Toronto, but when I'm in Regina, we are we're we're kind of shacked up. Yeah. Ooh, living in Seattle. Yeah. It's all so, a bit weird. Some okay. small town papers have us married. <laughs> Of course they do. Melville, Saskatchewan. Yes. After we did a show that they published in the paper, husband and wife duo, Jeff and Jill Straker. No. Mm. Oh, no. Our family was very shocked. I'm sure. They, they well, were... it was the first they'd heard of it. Yeah. So what right. happens in Melville? That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my I God. I'm just straddling you. Like I, I know. Right. I'm sort of enjoying it. Okay, so now tell us about your future plans. So we're doing, we're doing an album. We're doing an album, yep. and the, so we're recording that through November, December, probably a bit of January for some mixing, you know how that goes. Yes, yeah, 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 good, good. Putting the icing on the cake, you know, yep. they do, that those mastering people. Yes. And then, uh, uh, and then we got to start launching it, and that'll be in the spring. Fantastic. And then, and then there's, a, there's actually a very high probability that I'll be doing another album next year too, but that's all still TBD, but I see 2011 as being a two album year. Oh my god, and how do you have time to write? Like, this is a lot of writing. You know, it's, it's, it's funny, that, uh, that's, um... Oh, oh sorry, 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 hit the camera. Maybe, maybe you should ask that question again, I didn't okay. quite hear you. How do you have time to write? I mean, this is, you know, it takes a lot of time, you gotta get inspired, and then you got, you know, you gotta focus all by yourself, don't you? It takes, yes, yeah. uh, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a solitary writer, mm -hmm. um, generally, I've done the odd call, right? But it's, it's rarely worked, but I, uh, I try it every now and then, we could call it. We could, um, I never thought about that. Yeah. But, uh, so I, sol I write solitarily, and I used to think that I had to always block off a big chunk of time to get songs done. And then when I realized that that was just a big fat excuse, <laughs> that I was procrastinating. Because, and I left, you know, the, you know how easy it is to leave your songwriting so long, yes, right? Yes, So yes. then what I realized is that when I have small chunks of time, I've got to use them. Right. So yep. airplanes, on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> There's when, a pad everywhere. Whenever it strikes yeah, it. Whenever yeah, it strikes it. Yeah. And, yeah, and I'm fine. I found that the small chunk really worked. You can capture a bit of a nugget of an idea, yep. and then you can expand it later. But to even to get the bit down, for me, that yes. works as a really cool tool. It's essential because it disappears. It disappears. Yeah, yeah. you think, oh, I'll remember this later on yeah. by dinner time. Fuck. Gone. Yeah, that's, I know. That's fantastic. You listen to you listen go listen to to your your iPod and you're like, what was that idea? <laughs> Jeez. Mm. I know. Well, never mind. Never mind. Um, okay, great. So and then of course you'll be touring again after you do your album. Yes. Any more music?
music videos next uh, year? Well, there'll be there'll be a couple videos to okay. promote the new album for sure. Good. Um, which you'll put on Right Out TV, of which course. Which you'll put on Right Out yep. TV. Okay. First of all, <laughs> hello. And uh, and there'll be you know doing the probably some probably some radio promo of one yep. of those types of songs ends up coming out of me. Um, definitely a lot of marketing and touring around Canada for sure. I'm really focusing on Canada. And, right. Uh, right. Yeah. Really busy. Nice. It'll be fun. Well, good. Well, thank you so much for like hanging with us a little bit before your show. Thanks for coming and, to my um, beautiful green room. View of the room. Oh yeah, we're loving this. That's always that's really good. Yeah. The best part actually. Okay. Nice. The band. And the band. Wave band. Fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so you're going to see a lot of Jeffrey Straker on Ride on TV. <laughs> I also wanted to point out this is the first time I've played a piano that was wearing a dress. <laughs> not sure how I feel about it. I feel like my feet are under your dress, little lady. We're developing quite a little relationship here, you and I. You don't want to know what's under there, but his name's Kevin. <laughs> Precious rose and a stone. Ah, what's it say about being in love? Ah, what's it say about being alone? Scrolled on the walls of my heart, in etchings and ancient art. Answers to the riddles that I bleed. Oh. Time